this thing over here. my P.O. box and this is it. The most expensive mystery box I've ever bought on my channel, which is also the heaviest mystery box that I've ever got from the dark web. I shut my door and I don't think you guys understand how heavy this package really is, but considering I paid just about a thousand dollars for this mystery box, it better be freaking heavy. I'm gonna do what I always do when I start these videos for you guys. This is what the size of the box look like and this is the top of the dark web mystery box. But ladies and gentlemen, smash the like button if you enjoy these dark web mystery boxes. Put on the notification bell to be notified anytime I upload these videos on the channel and make sure to subscribe. And without any further hesitation, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and get this video started. Now, when I'm opening these mystery boxes, you know me, I gotta have on a nice pair of protective gloves. I also have a knife that's gonna help me with the unboxing. I'm gonna go ahead and take off my label off the mystery box, so nobody's gonna start sending me random crap to my Darknet PO box. I got my label taken off the package, put it to the side. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and get this mystery box open, ladies and gentlemen. When I'm opening boxes, typically it tells me like this side up, you know, like if I'm getting a box from Amazon or eBay. With dark web mystery boxes, I don't know if I'm ever opening the box from the right side up or if I'm opening it upside down. I do have a four camera setup here as I typically do. Oh, whoa. I love these mystery boxes that have labels like absolutely riddled and stuff. So we do have a lot of stuff on the label here. Okay, this is a big mystery box. You can see um, it's beside me right now. I'm sitting on the chair and it's almost up to my head. I can barely see the flaps. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the flaps off the package and I'm gonna to review them for you guys. Wonderful. I have all of the labels taken off of the package here. And if you guys can see from the camera down, the labels are absolutely riddled in art. This one here says red rum. That's absolutely cool. Hope that's not paying homage to me. Probably paying homage to Stephen King's books. Here's the thing. Every time people watch my videos, they want the red rum hoodies. If you guys want to buy a red rum hoodie, just go on Amazon and type in red rum hoodies. There you go. I broke the secret. How's it going? Editor notes here. After I finished recording the dark web mystery box, I noticed that my GoPro was on time lapse. So as you're gonna watch this video, I still got the footage. I ended up slowing everything down. But as you're gonna watch this video, you're gonna realize that the GoPro is kind of choppy. But the good news is you kind of see everything a lot better when it's a little choppy. The bad news is that it's choppy. But uh, that's all I want to tell you guys. Enjoy the rest of the video and stay tuned for the end of the video, ladies and gentlemen. It gets pretty freaking scary. But we have this label here. It has red rum and it has a clock on it. I can't read analog clock. I need a digital clock. That is 5.35. I'm gonna assume AM. I mean, I'm recording a mystery box at like three o'clock in the morning. But yeah, we have this label over here. Label number two has a picture of a spider and it says independence. Oh, innocence. I thought it said independence on it, my bad. Innocence pointing at a spider. Spiders are not innocent. I don't think spiders are innocent at all. If you looked at a spider under a microscope, you would probably, you'd probably lose your mind. I think they're absolutely terrifying. I have an arachnophobia or arachnophobia, that's the word. Arachnophobia is the irrational fear of spiders. I have the irrational fear of spiders. It's, it's pretty bad. I also have hemophobia, which is the fear of blood. A lot of people know that to though. The next label has a bunch of hearts and broken hearts and it also says ice on this side here. Now here's the thing, with my experience opening up dark web mystery boxes, I actually see these labels and I believe these labels are going to tell me what type of items we're going to pull out from the mystery box. I could be wrong, but based off my experience off of opening mystery boxes on this channel, yes, the labels typically tell me the story of the mystery box that I'm going to unbox, you know? So this one here is a bunch of lines and 10. I, I have no idea. If you guys know what you're looking at here, just let me know in the comment section. I'm actually at a complete loss right now. I see the number 10 on the top alongside here, but there's like numbers on top of that. There's lines, squiggly line, Patrick stars there. I don't know what this is, but you can let me know in the comment section down below because when I record these videos, there's a lot of people that actually know these things. Like I'm going to probably know some things that I've seen in here, but there's going to be some things that I don't know. You're probably not going to know what it is either, but there's going to be someone somewhere in the world that knows what they're looking at. So that's all of the flaps, all four of the flaps. I'm sorry if I've been calling them labels just because I say labels so freaking much, but I'm gonna go ahead and take these flaps, push them to the side, and we're gonna go ahead and get the first item out of the dark web box. The first thing we're gonna be pulling out of the mystery box is this orange bag. This is the first thing that caught my eye. Okay, no cutting, oh. 
there is a little, I think a hyena on there. I'm gonna assume it's a hyena. We're gonna take, oh. Inside the hyena, there is a picture of two women at a door, Fifth Avenue, Saks Fifth Avenue, off Fifth. I don't even know what that means. There's somebody on their cell phone on the left side of the picture. There is a picture rolled up in this hyena over here and we're gonna go ahead and, oh wow. I'm just gonna make sure there's nothing wrapped up in the tissue. Nothing wrapped up inside the tissue. Okay, we have a little brown lunch bag inside of the gift bag. I don't know what that is. Looks like some sort of light bulb. It has a button on the side. Oh. Edison must be tripping in his grave, bro. Look how far we've come. This is a LED light bulb. I think it's pretty nice. And we also have destroy footage with the letters N. P A Y, the number two, I A. Destroy footage. I think that's pretty creepy. This is the smallest cassette I've ever seen. So my question is, how would you play this? You're not gonna be able to put this inside a VCR player. It's a small cassette. How would you play this? How would I play all this footage back? Let me know in the comment section down below how I'd be able to play any of this footage back. That's actually a serious question. I have no idea. Don't forget, this was also inside it, a little electronic device. It has a menu button. I'm not gonna be turning on any devices that arrive inside this dark web mystery box. So I left it on the off switch. There we go. I don't know what the heck this is. I'm not gonna worry about too much what this is, just if you guys can recognize what it is, you can tell me in the comment section down below because you know me, I'm not gonna be able to solve all these things. A lot of people ask why I can't solve these things so quickly. It's because I have a bunch of cameras pointing at me and I just wanna make a good video for you guys. So instead of like researching and trying to figure out what one thing is in a mystery box, I'm just gonna try to take out everything from this heavy mystery box, you know? So go easy on me in the comment section. If you recognize something that I don't recognize, put it down below. The next thing we're gonna be pulling out of the dark web box, I see a bunch of puzzle pieces here. That's pretty cool in a little Ziploc bag. There's another Ziploc bag here, also retaining to some sort of puzzle piece thing. So we have a bunch of puzzle pieces here. The good news is that there's not a lot of puzzle pieces, so it's gonna be quite easy for me to solve. I'm not the best at jigsaw puzzles. I am actually horrible at jigsaw puzzles. I am the most frustrating player ever. It looks... Something, something happened here. That doesn't look like real blood for the people that don't know. Blood dries brown, so that, that can't be. No, it, it's not. This is just paint. So far, not that good, but these are little puzzle piece outlines here. So I'm assuming that these puzzle pieces are gonna have to go into here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do a fast forwarding clip of putting all the puzzle pieces inside here because I don't want it to take too long. This is the hardest thing I've ever had to do. It's been like four minutes for me. I don't know how long it's been for you guys. So as I almost finished this puzzle, I realized that the letters are on the back. I'm gonna have to try to turn over the puzzle. I've spent like six minutes doing this and I might even mess the entire thing up. There's letters on the other side, so stressful. So I just flipped it over and there's literally words on the back. It's like a message on the back. Oh my God, okay. Enjoy the gifts. Don't tell a soul you are being filmed. There's a front side, I'm assuming, and this is gonna be really tricky. And this is what it looks like from the front side. So just take a look at that and tell me what you see. Wow, that took me way longer than expected, but for you guys, it was a ease in the park. We're gonna be taking everything and putting it to our left. Everything that goes to my left is gonna be staying with me, and everything that goes to my right, I'm gonna be deeming it illicit and throwing it in the trash. The next item that we're gonna be pulling out of the dark web mystery box, we have oh, a one and a five, a five and a one. It could be 51 or it could be 15. Maybe Maybe there's more numbers inside the box. These are the classic birthday candles that we all know and love. We've all gotten these birthday candles or if you guys get the stick candles or if you guys just do this and make it easy, you know? To be honest, I don't want them. I'm gonna be taking them, putting them to my right. Maybe they mean something for later on because you know how these dark web boxes work. The next thing that we're gonna be pulling out, oh, there's handcuffs in here. What the, oh my God. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a fist inside here with handcuffs on it. That smells terrible. What the hell? That smells absolutely terrible. <laughs> Bro, 
This is so cool. You can do one of those pranks where like you put up your hood. Oh, but I'd have to have the gloves on. I'd be like, hi, like shake my hand, you know? And somebody shakes my hand. Uh, I don't know, what's this thing? It smells absolutely, it smells like, I, I swear this is really freaking cool. This is thick, what is this? Bro, this is the most realistic looking hand I have ever seen. Oh my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, take your fist and go ahead and punch the like button. Don't break your phone though, just punch the like button and I'm telling you guys, good luck will be coming your way because this thing, <laughs> this is really cool, what the heck? I just wish it didn't smell so freaking bad. I'm just gonna give it a good wash and I'm gonna put this in my room. Give this to like my sister or my mom or something, I don't know. They could probably just put their jewelry just like hanging off it or something, I don't know. Maybe you can open the fingers. Oh, you can't open the fingers? Put like a ring on the thumb? I don't know, I don't know, maybe my mom would like it. I'm gonna be taking this item and putting this item to my left. This is definitely going in the key pile. I don't know what it is, like I said, I just wish it didn't smell so freaking bad. It even has the veins on the back. What the hell? That's so cool. That's awesome. The next item that we're going to be pulling out of the dark web box is... What are these things called? The grail, the holy grail. This looks like it's used in some sort of ritual. It says, Paul, 16th August, 1975. It does look like an old cup. That's so creepy. Huh. That's all. We're gonna be taking the Holy Grail and putting the Holy Grail to our left here. It says Paul on it. Ah, I'm Paul. We're gonna be pulling out the next item from the mystery box. I see some blue, big red box here. Oh, what the hell? Oh, this is wrapped up in gift wrap. Oh, I'm saving this for later. I'm saving that for later. If you guys wanna see what's inside this thing, just stick around for later on in the video. The reason why I'm saving it for later in the video is because I wanna pull out the non-cool items now. And that looks like, who knows, maybe it looks like it's really cool, maybe not, but I definitely wanna save the surprises for later. I like keeping everything a surprise. So. The the next thing I'm gonna be pulling out of here. Oh my God. There is yellow tape on this mask. The mask has like bells on it. It's like some sort of jester looking dude. No, I'm not talking about that jester. I'm talking about this jester. I'm just playing. I actually, like to be honest, I'm gonna criticize jester in a future video. And I actually kind of want to make the type of videos he's making. The dude is getting like 3 million, 4 million views every single video he uploads. He doesn't care if I talk crap about him. The dude's doing really well on YouTube, but I'm not gonna lie. I kind of want a piece of that pie. If you guys ever see a 3 a.m. video from me, like a SpongeBob 3 a.m. video, a Sonic 3AM video, an Elmo 3AM video. Listen, it's gonna be pure satire. It's gonna be a pure parody. I really wanna do it and I'm not gonna lie, I purchased something that's gonna, I'm gonna do the video, so stick around for this video. I know a lot of you guys are not gonna like it. It's not for you guys, but I want you guys to come to the video. There's a lot, there's a couple of like adult references that you guys are really gonna like, but I want you guys to go to the video, hit the like button when the video comes out and show some support when the video comes out. Otherwise, YouTube won't push the video. I'm telling you, it's gold. It's a pure parody of like J Station videos, Jester videos, Arcade Craniac videos. Even though Arcade Craniacs is basically already a parody, it's it's a parody of a parody. It's absolute gold, I'm telling you. I want you guys to stick around for what I have planned. If you're gonna show some support on my Sonic.exe video and I'm gonna expect you there, just put a one in the comment section down below. I'll find you if you put a one in the comment section down below. But we have this little Jester looking thing here. I don't know why that reminded me of Jester. We also have a deer here or a moose, I'm assuming. Probably a deer. Mooses are like Canadian. Okay, inside the deer, we have something coming out, metallic thing coming out. If you guys can tell me what this little canister is here. The heck? It doesn't smell toxic, it just smells bad. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section down below. So there's nothing else on here and I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the next item from the mystery box. Oh, uh, looks like we have another mask inside there. Oh, wow. This is really, really nice. I don't... <coughs> oh, that was really odd. Uh, I have a mask here and something got in my eye. I have a mask here and it's a black mask. It's actually a really nice one too, to be honest. I don't know why I was trolling earlier. Uh, it has a little nice design on the side here. Pretty cool. If you guys want this mask, you can let me know in the comment section. Just leave some sort of constructive criticism. I literally say it in all of my videos. Leave me some sort of constructive criticism if you want any of these items, you know? It's fair if you also subscribe to the channel. So you can be notified if you want any of these items. But if you want this, let me know in the comment section. I'm gonna be putting it to my left. So far, we have two masks inside this dark web mystery box. I mean, October's coming. Coming. Masks are pretty damn relevant. So thank you so much for the two masks. The next thing that we're gonna be pulling out of the dark web box. 
Oh boy, it has a plug on here. How the hell? Okay, I got the plug off. Bro, I'm not plugging this in. What the hell? There is a camera on here. Bro, what the hell? I'm not gonna turn this thing on. I'm not turning it on. But if you do want to see me turn it on in a part two video, just say it in the comment section down below. I am a YouTuber and I have to do YouTuber things. So should I just like plug it in, wait till it connects and just like say hi and <laughs> unplug it right away? Oh my God. Let me know in the comment section down below. Would you see that? I'll take this and I'll put this to my left. It's definitely an illicit item, but I definitely want to see what you guys think. The next thing we're gonna be pulling out of the mystery box. What the hell? Bro, more masks? So this mask that I pulled out earlier, there's one like a miniature. Oh, it's not really the same one. It looks kind of like it, but there's one on the other side too. It looks like they're taped. Oh my God, they're taped together. <laughs> oh, that's so weird. What the hell? That's really cool. I'm gonna be taking my knife, my Swiss Army knife, and I'm just gonna, around the edges, I'll go. Oh my God. There's another mask. <laughs> What the hell is happening? So these two were taped together. I cut the tape off and there's another one inside the mystery box. What the hell is going on? Inside. Oh, wow, I just cut myself. Okay, be very careful handling this. I don't know what the heck this is. <laughs> what the heck is this? <laughs> these look like shoes, a little dangly keychain with like their shoes, little foreigner type of shoes. Let me know what kind of, I mean, I'm not gonna call them ugly cause they, they look a little cultural. Yeah, I'm gonna be taking this, putting it here. More stuff inside, what the hell? What is going on? Oh, two more shoes just came out, what the hell? Two little miniature black high heels. Look like they belong to a Barbie doll or something. There's a Kinder Egg inside here, I can see it. Oh, there is another mask inside here. A mask, a white one, a black one on the inside. Two white ones on the inside that are taped together. This is so freaking weird. There we go, got something. Oh, it's a bunny. Oh, hell no. I know it's just a random bunny or a rabbit. Every time I see bunnies now or rabbits, it reminds me of my most infamous video, the largest video on my channel, the scariest dark web unboxing I've done. Yeah, that's the name of it. It actually just popped up on the top right of the screen. If you guys want to watch that video, there was a rabbit head at the end of the video. You don't have to watch the entire video if you don't want to, but it actually is the scariest unboxing I've ever done. Recommended to check out the entire video, but if you don't want to watch the whole video, go check it out at the end. I'm also going to link it in the description for you guys that missed the thing at the top right. So we're going to take this rabbit bunny. Bunnies are happy, rabbits are depressed. So <laughs> I'm going to put this over here. And we also have a Kinder Egg piece inside. What the? With little orange bits inside here. That's everything inside the masks. These, this little mask trap cascade of masks. That's all that's inside here. But the inside of a Kinder Egg, and I, I was a big fan of Kinder Egg, but inside here was just a bunch of orange, squishy, spongy things. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten of them. Ten of these orange, squishy, squeezy, spongy things. I'm gonna put them to my right. I don't know what the heck these are. Let's clean up the table a little bit. Now we had this little purse looking thing. I don't it, it looks like a purse. It looks like a woman's bag. A few moments later. However, I've looked at it for the last like 30 seconds and I actually have no idea how to open it. It's like, I, it doesn't open from the top. Ah, there we go. The okay, what we have here is a badger. A badger or a beaver, one of the two. I mean, I'm Canadian, so I said beaver, but it's a badger or a beaver inside here. Alongside with, uh, there's a bunch of, oh, letters. If this is gonna spell what I think it spells. Oh no. Okay, if you guys know what that spells, just let me know in the comment section. That could be a P or that could be a D. Just let me know in the comment section. I feel like we're getting somewhere. The next thing that I'm gonna be pulling out of the mystery box, there's a clown. I see a clown. Oh my God, it's so creepy. It doesn't even have a nose. My goodness, this dude's terrifying. There's a little hook on the back. There's a drum on here. I like his outfit though, his outfit's pretty fire. I'm gonna call him Jackson. If you guys want Jackson the Clown here, uh, let me know in the comment section down below. Oh, it winds up.
Oh, that's so creepy. Oh, that's so creepy. Oh, that's so freaking creepy. He moves. The next thing that we're gonna be pulling out of the box, we've got a lot of, we've got photos inside here yet again. A little see-through plastic envelope here. That's pretty, that's pretty interesting. Four, five, six, seven. We have nine photos here. Pictures of, again, people walking on the street. What's up with people sending mystery boxes and of pictures of people walking on the street? Where the heck is this? Oh, there's a bus here. The first image that we're looking at is a parking sign. There is a woman with a yellow backpack. She has jeans on. Somebody has a walker on the right. All I know is when I'm explaining these images, I'm obviously explaining them, right? But something going through my head all the time is, bro, I'm looking at images of people on the street. Like, why are these images being sent to me? Why do these images exist? in the first place like why were they taken who are these people and what's going on that's the first image the next image on the screen is a dude in shorts he has extremely nice legs there's a guy in a hat on the left side it says m12 m31 and m57 west side this is really freaking scary imagine you're walking down the street doing whatever you do on your typical day and you have somebody with a full-out camera taking pictures of you dude these are printed pictures like this person got the pictures developed Oh, that's terrifying. The next image is a bus, and the bus says 57 Street, and then there's people walking on the left. Interesting, interesting. The next image is somebody sitting on his bike. He looks like he's having a hard time pedaling, or he looks like he's texting, I'm not too sure. Now, there's a bunch of people walking here. A woman has a yellow bag. She has a nice red dress on. There's a bunch of people walking here, actually. Some woman's kind of doing her hair, or she looks kind of stressed out in the middle. There's a dude on the right side of the picture. He's wearing a red t-shirt. Somebody in the far Far, far back of the picture by the door he's standing there the next image is what appears to be a woman walking with a coffee cup another woman on the right side of the picture it looks like she's about to cross the road or she's waiting to cross the road and there's a man in a white t-shirt behind and now this is a picture of a bus and a building behind it I don't know which bus this is I don't know which building this is but you guys can probably help me in the comment section there's like that game that geography guesser game where it shows you a picture of a place and you have to guess where that picture is there's some people that are really 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 good at that like if they look at pictures they can immediately determine where the picture was taken but I'm, I'm not that good the last picture that we have here is kind of a cut up picture and somebody walking with a green bag he's wearing some extremely short shorts yeah he's just walking minding his own business now one thing i noticed about all these people is majority of the people in these photos had bags i don't know why everybody in the pictures have bags to be honest but if you find any correlation you can let me know the next thing that we're going to be pulling out of the box you know what Jeez, I'm pulling out this is heavy this is actually majority of the weight of the mystery box this is pretty freaking heavy here Oh, dude, I'm scared. When I'm opening the actual mystery box itself, there's actually a lot of anxiety going through me. But once I have it open, it's like, oh, okay. I'm still alive. I'm fine. Nothing went kapoof on me. But when I see this, absolutely terrifies me because I'm not gonna lie, um, the mystery box isn't over yet. It basically says like, hey, yeah, there's still a mystery inside the mystery box. So let's get this open. <clears throat> Pinocchio. Pinocchio. It says Pinocchio on the top of the box. What the hell? It's really cool. What the hell? This is extremely heavy. What the hell is inside here, bro? It's gonna be like, I bought Pinocchio off the dark web at 3 a.m. gone wrong. He attacked me. This is really cool. I don't know what the heck this is. Oh, it says something on the bottom. Walt Disney's Pinocchio 50th anniversary. I don't know, but I'm gonna go ahead and open this, ladies and gentlemen. Jeez. It's a jack-in-the-box. It's a jack-in-the-box. It's a freaking jack-in-the-box. <laughs> that is the cheapest way to scare somebody, man. This is supposed to be a dark web mystery box and I'm supposed to be scared for my life. I should be worried about authorities coming knocking on my door saying, what are you doing? Jump scares are the cheapest way to scare anybody. I shouldn't, dude, the dude was putting this inside the box or the dudette was putting this inside the box and they're like, ho, 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 I'm gonna terrify him. Oh my God. That's so weird. It says something on the back. I'm not going to read the entire thing. If you guys want to read that, screenshot it, take a look at it, come back to the video. 
but there's also something else on the bottom here. You guys can read this thing too. You guys can go ahead and read this too, screenshot it, and take a look at what it says. I'll read it later on, it's just I want to get through this mystery box, so I, I'm not gonna sit down here and postpone everything. Is this the gift that they're talking about? Like, the puzzle said, enjoy the gifts, don't tell a soul. Don't tell a soul that I got Pinocchio off the dark web. That's awesome, that's great. Great gift, thank you for that. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not the biggest fan of like the Pinocchio movies. If there's somebody that's a bigger fan of Pinocchio than I am, you can actually go request this in the handout. So far, this is by far the coolest item that I pulled out of the mystery box. If anybody's a bigger fan of Pinocchio than I am, then go ahead and request this in the comment section. But like I said, leave some sort of constructive criticism. Tell me something about my videos, whether you like them or hate them. Tell me why you like them or tell me why you hate them. I just put it over to my right because way too much stuff's on my left. It doesn't really matter at this point, but we're almost basically like 50% on the mystery box, so. Let's see, we have another box inside here. We have this doll that absolutely frightened me. Bro, she's wearing a wedding dress. What if your bride showed up to you like this, man? Like, what if it was the day of your wedding and you looked at your bride and this is what your bride looked like? Oh my goodness. Oh, she has something on her hand. She has keys on her hand. That's probably her reason why she was inside the mystery box. Keys on her hand, corpse bride, terrifying corpse bride. Taking it and I'm gonna be sticking it to my left if you want, I don't, I don't know. Pair of keys here. Handcuff keys, these are handcuff keys. Great, now I can finally get freaky in the bedroom. <laughs> Thank you, dark web mystery box sender man or woman. These are great, thanks. There's something here that says on the road again and within it's like a little booklet, and there is... Dropped pin! This is a screenshot from Google Maps. What the hell? Well, what do people do when they're trying to solve things? <laughs> what do detectives do when they're trying to solve things? Like, I, I feel like I'm being pointed in the complete wrong direction. The coordinates are 40.2805462, and then comma, Minus 83.0585198. That was inside here. And we also have this thing. I hate these things. I absolutely freaking hate these things. Oh, that's so creepy. I don't know what's inside here. It's a... It's a biohazard box. Bro, this is it's not a Dybbuk box, right? No, it can't be a Dybbuk box. There's a clock inside here. Five, oh five. So the clock on the box was, I think it was 535 or 540, one of the two. But this one here is 505. I don't know what the heck this thing is. If you guys know what this is, you can tell me in the comment section. Rose petals in there. That's what made me think it's a Dybbuk box. Just a bunch of rose petals. Oh, that smells lovely. I love the smell of dried roses. Rose petals, rose petals, rose petals. Biohazard. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. How the hell do you... Oh, that smells terrible. Oh, what the fuck is this? Oh, I'm throwing this away. Guys, this smells really freaking bad. This smells absolutely rude. This smells so rotten. It smells so freaking toxic. Oh my god, it's getting all over my freaking gloves. Oh my god, it's black inside here. What the fuck is happening? Oh my god. 
What the f is It's sticky! Oh, it smells so freaking bad. Oh my god, it's all over my gloves. It's so sticky. Oh my god. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and change my gloves and I'm gonna be right back. Oh my god. I just rinsed my mouth and I got new gloves. That was nasty. That was absolutely nasty. I got lightheaded after smelling that. It was terrible. I don't know what the heck that was. We had the red clock in there too. If you guys know what that was, if that liquid sticky thing looked familiar to you, just please let me know in the comment section down below. I'm at an absolute loss right now. The next thing that we're gonna be pulling out of the dark web box. Oh my god, I don't want to keep doing this. Oh my god, every time I go lower in the dark web box, it gets so freaking bad. The next thing that I'm gonna be pulling out of the mystery box... Bruh, it's a paddle! It's a paddle with spikes. Why would anybody make this? Why would anybody freaking use this in the first place? Ladies, no, no, no. Like this is a line. This draws the line. I don't, I can't think of a single person that would ever use this. I don't know who you are and I don't know anything about you, but I know one thing. I know you wouldn't use this. I wouldn't use it. There's nobody in the planet that would ever use this. No, 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 no. Unless it's like a ping pong paddle, but why would a ping pong paddle have one of these? Man? Oh my God. It's definitely for the behind and I can't imagine why anyone would want spikes on it. That's terrible. That's terrifying. And if you say otherwise, you're lying. The next thing that we're gonna be pulling out of the mystery box, jeez, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, this is the most, this is the ugliest mask I have ever seen. If you wanna go as something terrifyingly ugly for Halloween, find a way to hook this on your face and go for this as Halloween because, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like a freaking derp meme, bro. What the hell? Oh, this it, it is pretty creative though. I'm not gonna lie. If you like it, let me know in the comment section. If you want it, let me know in the comment section. Leave some sort of constructive criticism, like I said. We're almost done the mystery box, guys and gals. We have a... Oh boy, a doll here. Oh my god, it's a, oh my god, it's a voodoo doll. The first sellout for a voodoo doll is the heart in the middle, the eyes, the, oh my god, it's a freaking voodoo doll. It is covered, it has lots of hair on the outside, like actual hair. Like it's like made, what the f is it made out of? I hope you guys can see that on the camera, but there's like actual hair here. It's like connected to my finger. Voodoo dolls, absolutely terrifying, but it is gonna make me recommend another video. I bought a voodoo doll off the dark web. I uploaded that video on my second channel now, so as you're on the second channel, go ahead and subscribe to the second channel. Click on that thing that just appeared on the top right of the screen. As you're on that video, subscribe to my second channel. The next thing we're gonna be pulling out of the mystery box, we're actually almost really close to finishing up the mystery box. Oh my god, another picture of someone standing on a road. This guy is in a suit here. That's the dude, I can't, I'm not gonna say his name because then we're gonna start getting DMCAs. There's a picture of like some rich dude, Trump looking dude, really rich dude, I don't know, uh, sitting there in a suit, standing on the road with the photos being taken of him. Bro, that's scary, man. I don't care who you are. You can be John Cena. And if you're standing on the side of the road with people just creepily taking pictures of you, it is pretty creepy. But at the same time, you're John Cena. I don't know. But we're going to take this and put this to my left. Oh my God. Oh my God. You know what? There is quite a lot of like knickknacks on the bottom of the box. I'm going to take out three things at a time just to finish out the mystery box because there's a lot of knickknacks on the bottom. I thought I was really close to finishing. Turns out I'm not. What the? Oh boy, there's needles inside here. Okay, I put the mystery box on the floor. Uh, I don't know what this is, ladies and gentlemen. It is another biohazard bag. Oh, dude, what the? Oh my god, that better not be, that better not be urine. That better not be freaking urine. That's terrible. Oh my god, and there's needles inside here, like actual. Oh yeah, these are, oh yeah. There's five needles inside here, green tip needles. Oh my God, I don't know, I hope this is not a drug. It says biohazard on it. We have this pen here, it's a, it's, it's a flashlight. Oh yeah, it's a flashlight. Oh my God, I literally just noticed it as I pressed it. Oh, that's extremely bright. That's a really bright flashlight. That's really cool. I'm gonna be using this rando nodding if I ever- Oh wow, you can- 
This is actually a really powerful flashlight the size of a pen that I'm going to be using for Randonautica. Uh, I haven't made a Randonautica video in a pretty long time, but I'm going to be making one relatively shortly from now. The video is going to be called I Explored 10 Randonautica Points and This Is What I Found. I'm going to be taking this and sticking this to my left and we have... This is a magnetic key case. Oh, there's a key inside here. Huh. So take a look at this. There is a little container here, black container. Slide this thing out. And a key comes out. It's a little key case, a magnetic key case. I don't know why you just don't get a keychain. What the hell? It looks like a house key, to be honest. It's kind of weird. Uh, I'm gonna take it, put it down. And we have, there's something definitely inside there. We also have a little cube here. Oh, this is, a, oh my God, this is a fucking camera. Bro, oh my God, it's pointing at me. Oh my God, what the? F oh my God. Oh my God, what the, what's happening? Oh my God. Um, I, I damaged the lens. I just like kind of pushed in on it. I know how cameras work. He can't see me anymore. Definitely can't see me anymore. How the hell do you turn this thing off? The camera is not working. That means the microphone can't work. I'm pretty sure the camera is connected to the microphone, right? It looks like there's a USB on the back, so I'm gonna wait for the battery to die. We're almost done the mystery box, guys. Four more things, five more things. Oh, almost cut myself. Okay, got a little plastic container here. Oh my God, we have another one of those mini cassettes here. Like I said earlier in the video, I'm gonna need you guys to tell me in the comment section how I'm gonna be able to play this footage. This is gonna be incredibly hard to play because like I said, even if you had a VCR, if you put this small cassette in the VCR, it probably would get stuck. I don't know. And I don't know what this is. This is a creepy looking animal, probably a, a black sheep. I don't know. That's a really odd looking animal, but that's all that's inside here. It's just this thing and this thing. But yeah, that's all that's inside there. I'm gonna go ahead and it's still heavy in the freaking box. Oh wow, there's a rock inside here, bro. What the? Oh, it's not a rock. That's not real. Four gigabytes. What the hell? It says four gigabytes on it. Dude, this is heavy, bro. It's a USB drive. Oh, I'm already terrified. Oh, I'm already scared. Stick around till the end of the video, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys want to see me review the contents of this dark web USB key. It's a four gigabyte USB key. Bro, what the heck? This is the coolest looking like storage device I've ever gotten from a dark web mystery box, but I'm, I'm terrified of storage devices because I've seen some pretty nefarious shit from storage devices, from dark web mystery boxes. I'm gonna be taking this and putting this to my left, keeping it for the end of the video. That was inside this rock over here. Bro, this rock? The plastic bottom. I took off the, the plastic bottom fell off and there was a key inside there, a key USB. That's absolutely sick. What the heck? You can hide anything you want in here. Well, anything that'll fit in here, you know? I'm gonna be taking this, putting this to my left. That's a cool hiding spot. And the bow, and there's still heavy inside here. What the? Oh my God, it's a black light. Oh my God, why at the freaking bottom of the box? I pulled out the black light as the last item in the mystery box. If I pulled this out first, I would have looked at every item with a black light. Honestly, that, I'm not gonna do that because that's gonna waste too much time. I'm damn, I have no more items. The video's done. The video's, this is one more item. Wow, this is heavy. Oh wow, that's the majority, what the? That's heavy. But I would have taken a look at all of the items with a black light, man. What the hell? Assembled in China? I-M-E-I. -E no, I can't see anything on here. Oh, hell no, man. I am not doing this. I am not doing this. Oh, what the? No, I, I'm not gonna put the black light on everything on the screen because I'm gonna be wasting far too much time. There's still one more thing inside the package. Majority of the weights inside here. It says I-M-E-I -E on the back. It's still freaking sealed up. Oh, there's another one too. Bro, I have a... It's a brand new iPad! Ladies and gentlemen, out of the dark web mystery box, let's look at this. <laughs> I, I literally I literally just did it on camera for you guys. Oh my god. It said IMEI on there immediately that caught my eye I was thinking I'm like bro This has to be an electronic device because electronic devices have IMEI numbers I literally cut through the sticker the brand new sticker and there's still plastic
It's a brand new iPad. It's a brand new iPad. It's a brand spanking new iPad. Not a single scrap. <gasps> I'm even wearing gloves right now. Oh my god, the gloves dust is getting on it. One sec. Bro, you guys think I'm capping. Uh, listen, this is the second time in, f in three months that I got a iPad. iPad Pro or iPad Air? I I this is, listen, I have an iPad Pro. Wait right here. <laughs> look at this. Take a freaking look at this. This right here, okay, mine is, honestly, I don't know which iPad this is. I don't know if it's an iPad Air or an iPad Pro, but this is mine. Mine's kind of dirty right now. Sorry about that. But look, I have an iPad. Mine has two cameras on the back, a flash and a circle. I don't know what that circle is. Mine has the Apple Pencil. I also have the Magic Keyboard with it. I'm not trying to flex. I'm just saying I have the iPad Pro. My last Dark Web Mystery Box, I opened a 666 Dark Web Mystery Box. I got an iPad within that Dark Web Mystery Box. I gave it away to somebody in the comment section that wanted the iPad. It's already been taken care of the giveaway, the handout's been taken care of. I literally just got a brand spanking new iPad. I cut off the stickers right in front of you guys. I peeled off the plastic that you get when you get a brand new iPad. If you want this, I want you guys to request this in the comment section down below. Listen, it's an iPad. They're about $1,000 for the iPad, which I'm going to get to in a second of how I think these dark web mystery boxes work. But if you want this iPad, come on, subscribe to the channel and also tell me some constructive criticism in the comment section. If I like your comment, I will select you. I will reply to your comment. I'll tell you to delete your comment a little bit later, but I'll reply to your comment and I'll send you the iPad. We'll contact each other via email and get everything taken care of. But you have to subscribe to the channel. Come on, it's a freaking iPad, which costs about a thousand dollars. And that's the point I wanted to actually make right now. There were some people that asked like, dude, if you buy the mystery box for a thousand dollars and the iPad costs a thousand dollars and everything else is inside the mystery box, isn't that an automatic W? How do people give you an iPad without losing money? The only answer that comes to my head is is that it's either a fake iPad or it's been stolen. Somebody stole this iPad, got rid of it for Bitcoin cryptocurrency. I bought this dark web mystery box in Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. It's Bitcoin and Monero, and it's an untraceable cryptocurrency. Monero is at least. So this person decided to get rid of the dark web mystery box, give it to me. So he gave me an iPad in a thousand dollar mystery box. I'm assuming so I buy off him again. I have my own iPad Pro. This is the 2021. I don't know which model this is. I don't know, but if you guys can like take a look at it and you guys can let me know in the comment section, whoever knows Apple products really well, just tell me in the comment section, please, because I'm not gonna be able to figure it out. I'm pressing the home button right now. Nothing's really happening. Oh my God. The, oh my God. <laughs> It works, it works. I'm not gonna lie, I was talking and talking and talking and in my head I'm like, what if it doesn't even work? Uh, bro, bro, a brand sp- <gasps> It even says hello English. Select your country. It's a brand new iPad. It, it doesn't even have a smudge. It doesn't even have a scratch on the screen. I just took this off. If you want it, subscribe to the channel. If you made it this far into the video, ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of the video. Smash the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. You'll be recommended all of these dark web mystery boxes whenever I upload them. To be notified when I upload these dark web mystery boxes, all you have to do is put on the notification bell. You will be notified for every single video that I upload on this channel. It's absolutely freaking crazy, guys. I'm gonna see if there's any else inside the mystery box we have a lot of packing peanuts inside here and we do have this thing over here oh, what the f is that oh dude that looked like a that looked like a that looked like a for a really big finger what the f was that Bro, I'm not even gonna care about the iPad right now. Like, iPad aside, I have, this is actually where you draw the line when you open the dark web mystery boxes, and this is where you have to freaking phone the cops. Where's my cell phone? Oh my God. Oh, oh, oh. Bro, why does this happen to me every time? Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is all for the video. If you made it this far into the video, I've been recording for far too long right now. If you guys want to see the part two to this video, it's going to pop up on the screen right about now. Dark web USB key that I have to open, and I don't know what I'm going to expect on here, to be honest. So stick around for part two.